Ali YouTube. Today we have another box to uh, take a look at. This is part of a Doppler radar system for an aircraft um, which measures the speed of the aircraft by uh, basically just measuring how fast it, it's going past the ground beneath it. Uh, so it gets an, an absolute reading of the speed as opposed to just measuring the relative uh, speed of the aircraft through the air um, which could of course be inaccurate if there's any wind. Right, so what do we have? We have uh, we have this big box, um, nice front panel with a whole load of stuff, uh, power switch here, a lighting control switch, thing to adjust that, a couple of uh, normal toggle switches. Um, these toggle switches, they have like little plastic covers on them, which have got really manky, um, and they look really kind of cheap and nasty. So uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe the covers are actually uh, re replaceable, and it's uh, it, it's just uh, like a replaceable part, so you don't have to replace the whole switch when they when they wear out. Um, lots and lots of these uh, backlights, which is uh, which is quite handy because they're good to recycle. Um, fairly, they're, they're standard uh, military fitting lights, so. Uh, all the little indicator lights and things you harvest out of these things all take these lights, so could have a stock of them. Nice big clunky switch here, a funny little joystick nipply thing there, that'll be uh, interesting to take a look at. Um, what else have we got on the back? We've got a couple of nice big connectors. That's what the panels say. Uh, nothing particularly interesting or descriptive there in fact. So, uh, yeah, let's take it apart and have a look at it. The cover comes off with these four little clip screw things. And are you ready for it? Look at all this stuff in here. We've got motors, we've got capacitors, we've got connectors, relays, all sorts of good stuff. So let's zoom in a bit. Focus a bit as well. So that's a little motory thing with a nice gear head. These gearheads are incredibly expensive if you want to buy them on their own. And uh, because because these are all military motors, the fittings are all more or less standard um, for for NATO stuff anyway. These actually have a NATO part number on them, um, so they're all kind of interchangeable. So, it, it, so they're a really good thing to uh, to harvest and keep. Um, that's some sort of funny capacitory thing. I only know that because it says C7 there. Um, these are all paper capacitors, actually, bizarrely, not uh, not tantalum ones, paper capacitors. Um, some little power diodes there, big, uh, big connector block. Uh, on this side we have a funky shaped tantalum cap, more paper caps. Uh, these are all relays, lots of wiring, nice big resistor. Lots of these little Teflon standoffs, they're all quite nice. Uh, the switches, um, a funny custom-made multi-way switch which actually has uh, some uh, little micro switches in there. I really don't know why they went to the effort of, of making this whole assembly. That it feels really gungy and nasty. In fact, much much worse than the uh, standard standard. Where is it? There it is. Standard uh, little multi-way switch they have over here. Um, I don't doubt they had their reasons. It is a power switch for the whole thing, so maybe they felt the normal ones just couldn't handle the power. But it's it's got a really kind of mushy feel to it. So not nice at all, actually. Um, right, what else we've got on this side? We've got uh, some funny little transformery things. Another capacitor. There's the back of that funny little joysticky thing. Um, Back of the great big switch, there are the relays, the connectors on the back, another, uh, that's a stepper motor actually it says on it, so uh, uh, that'll be uh, good, to, good to keep. Um, on this side we have some 
little power transistory things with nice little heat sinks, another funky tantalum capacitor, and this this little sub assembly with some really really nice tiny surface mount gold ICs on it. Um, they actually look like they've been uh, spot welded onto the traces instead of soldered, so that's quite a uh, that's a, a technique they used to use back in the day for a whole load of stuff um, when it needed to be really miniaturised. A lot of the old calculators actually had had uh, had, had that technique bizarrely. Um, some more motors there, some sort of little synchro thing in there. Um, if I turn the gear, you can see it down move, which is quite cool. Um, So yeah, let's uh, destroy this thing some more. You can see this is obviously how quite a lot of hours were running. The, uh, the heat from the lights has actually scorched the, the plastic around uh, where, the, where the holders were. Normally I'd be a bit more gentle with these sort of connectors, but this one's fairly gunged up anyway, so it doesn't really make much difference. And that's the fairly standard transparent perspex painted military control front face here thing. Uh, little plastic windows. Very nicely machined stainless steel rod. I think it's stainless steel. Oh, it's not stainless steel, it's normal steel. Some of these screws are distinctly uh, gunged up, I mean, uh, mauled about, so uh, someone's been in this before. We're not the first ones. Expect to see some repairs somewhere. That's quite a nice little assembly. Quite nicely thought out. A couple of cottage connectors here. Little riveted on bits of reinforcement. Nicely machined uh, spacers. <laughs> Another machined reinforcing rod here. I guess it could actually be, a, be being used as a bus bar. No, there's no electrical connection to that. It is just a reinforcing rod. Some more caps. And here we have a better view of the insides. <laughs> nice wire loom here. That's definitely some sort of synchro, it's got the, the synchro uh, kind of schematic on the side. Okay, let's take some more of the uh, modules out. Someone's been at this screw before. machined steel rod.
Very nice high quality connector, lovely heavy, heavily gold plated pins. A nice assembly. Lots of little metal cam relays. For once they haven't loctited everything in sight, which is quite a pleasant change. Oh. I think that was a fault. Let's fell off. So on this one, instead of uh, actually lacing everything together, they they just use these uh, little little rubber uh, bands to hold all the all the loom together. Um, <coughs> all silver Teflon wire, of course. I guess it's uh, it achieves the same end. Quite interesting. This terminal block, these these ends few uh, feed throughs. They, they've clearly been soldered to, but they have nothing on them now, and they have they have wires going to them on the other side. So they must have been uh, test points or something to use use when calibrating or, or testing the machine. So interesting touch. Filtering section. That's some nice little motor assembly. I did actually look up this NATO stock number and it, it is a motor, not a, uh, a synchro or a step motor or anything. It's probably an AC motor, but a motor one less. Extremely nice high precision gear head. So this is apparently a stepper motor. It has six cables coming out of it, so hopefully it's a, a two-phase motor with center tap phases, so it can be driven by a uh, normal conventional driver and might actually be useful if that's the case.
Oh, that's quite a nice little assembly. And that's that nice little indicator. I assume the other side says on. Don't we? Uh... So this beast is a synchro transformer <clears throat> and this is just a motor so I guess that's that's the feedback uh, element which feeds into some horribly complicated synchro control electronics. Very nice little gearbox assembly there. control transformer as well. So that was a feedback mechanism for this little dial. And that bit doesn't want to come apart at all. Well, I think that's uh, most of the interesting bits out of this. I've got uh, lots of nice electrical parts. Um, some really good mechanical stuff. Nice indicator. So yeah, that was uh, that was a pretty good box. Thank you for watching.